name is Pete Siglinski and I'm the CEO of Seabin Project and we're here today in uh, Ballina Isle Marina here in San Francisco and we're just getting ready to uh, put a seabin in the water. Seabin is like a floating trash can and we put it in the water at marinas and we put it on a floating dock and we pull uh, water in from the top and then we pump it out the bottom and then we filter the, uh, the debris and the trash and the oil um, with a filter in the middle of that. The filters that we're using, um, they're a fine mesh and it's uh, at the moment they're polypropylene uh, plastics. So essentially we're using plastic to catch plastics. With the current filter we're using, we're catching microplastics to two millimetres in size. And we have developed the, um, the filter using a finer mesh where we've been catching microfibers. So stuff that you, you cannot see with the, with the naked eye, you need a microscope. And uh, that's something that we have under development as well. Debris and trash in the marinas is a much bigger problem than I think people realize, and it doesn't necessarily come from our members or from within. The trash is carried across the water, and it comes in, collects in these little pocket areas, and marinas tend to be a good location for that. It's going to be food containers, water bottles, cigarette butts, um, little pieces of like twine, and just the stuff that you would see blowing around in any type of natural environment. Seabin works 24-7, so it's an employee 24 hours a day for us, and then we just come by periodically, and it also collects a lot of the smaller stuff that we miss. And it's just a great opportunity for us to be able to do something that's positive for the environment. We did a crowdfunding campaign, and uh, we raised uh, $362,000 and that gave us the kickstart to, to start this whole project and so that was two years ago and now we have the uh, commercial sea bins and it's ready to go in the water. I think we have about 70 different countries with sea bins ordered and uh, every day it's just more and more. The interest is just, it's huge. The cost of the sea bins is 3,300 euros. Uh, the maintenance costs, it's uh, basically the electricity for running of the pump. It's using 500 watts and it's uh, only drawing 4 amps, which means that it's quite a low energy consumption and yes, it is adaptable that we can have it run by either uh, solar power, wind power or wave. We also have some uh, concepts that we've validated where we can get off the dock and into the oceans because the, the technology is quite simple and it's very adaptable and so this is our 10 year plan. So by 2027, uh, we aim to be out offshore into the gyres.